another day at my home park, and uh, today I'm spending a uh, part of my day with uh, Ellis, which, as of when I'm recording this, today is his birthday, and uh, Batman doing a block check, so they're going like a bunch of like hawks or something sort of around the ride, which is crazy. And uh, yeah, I'll be spending some time with Ellis today. I don't know how old he is. I'll have to ask him later on to see how old he is. But yeah, Ryan and I will be uh, hanging out with him for some of the day, and uh, yeah, this will be a good one. We got uh, 11 to 7 today, so let's go and have a good day. ran into Ryan and Ellis, and uh, each of us did between one to three Screaming Eagle rides, depending on who you ask. I got two, Ryan got one, one. and Ellis, you got three, including your first ever Zen ride on it. Yeah. What did you think? It felt great, man. Like, it was my very first Zen ride, and I immensely enjoyed it. Yep, I told him to put his hands up on the air time after the first drop, and I got a picture of a train, which uh, you'll be seeing that right about now, which you can see it's on the screen now. But yeah, he was the only one on the train. They were running red train, and uh, I did front and back on my two rides. It was running uh, pretty good in the front, actually. What do you think of that ride? You think it really was moved up to the fourth park? Front. Yeah, it's number four in the park now for me because of uh, got air time on like almost every hill. Yeah. Which is not normal for this thing, but yeah. And I keep my foot going, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going down to the boss now, which is right over here. That's the same going on the turn up there. And see, so, yeah, I did front and back. Uh, back was definitely rougher than the front, but I thought it was a great experience regardless. So now we're going to see how the boss is running today, but Eagle, great start to the day. Ryan, what was that all about? You're supposed to get a trimless ride. What do you have to say about that? It trimmed. It trimmed. I know. What happened there? I don't know. Oh, well. Yeah. Make a yeah, I think your trail is going considerably faster in the mid course, though. I guess so. Yeah, I saw, like, oh wow, his is going way faster in there. But second time, right? What? Oh, because you got trimless, that's why. Yeah. So, yeah, Ryan just did the back of the train and the front of the train just now. Ellis and I did two rides in the front. Both of our rides were trimless, and it was running incredibly well. And, uh, yeah, now we're going to go down towards uh, Justice League here in just a minute. We just rode Mr. Freeze, took up the front car. It was an awesome ride. Had a massive gray out from uh, the bottom of the spike to the top of the inverted top handle on the return trip, which is uh, pretty much to be expected at this point because, uh, yeah, it always gets me. So. Mr. Freeze was solid. And now we're gonna ride, I think, Log Swoop and American Thunder. And then as for what we're gonna do next, I'm not sure about that, but yeah, let's do these two rides while we're in the general area. Definitely lost that one. It was uh, quite close though, actually. I mean, not many of us got wet like at all. Me, Ryan, and one of Ellis's friends were on one log, and then Ellis and two of his other friends were on a separate log. So it was uh, pretty close across all of us, but I ended up getting a little bit more wet. And it wasn't even the big drop at the end that got me, but rather a little dip off the first lift hill. That's what got me the most wet. I mean, I got wet a little bit on my shoe, my shorts, my shirt. So it was uh, overall, I guess, not too much, but yeah, I still took the L on that one. And uh, I was gonna ride American Thunder, but that line is really long. And it had, well, it's not too, too long, but it's on one train. So I imagine it'll take at least 35 to 40 minutes. So I'm gonna go do something different in the meantime. I'll maybe check back with uh, Ellis and Ryan and all those guys later on, cause uh, they're gonna ride American Thunder, which I mean, I rode it twice last time I was here. So, I mean, I don't necessarily feel the need to ride again today. I mean, I might if the line isn't too bad later, but as of now, it's quite long and they're only on one train. And plus it's the red train, which isn't even the better train on the ride anyway. So I'll check back there later. Another max score on Justice League, and uh, I think I'm gonna go back towards, I think, Boss, and maybe get some footage of like Pandemonium or something on the way over there. And I do need to try Boss in the afternoon because it's been about a little under two hours since I've ridden it. And uh, it was running incredible early this morning, and I'm sure you see how it runs now, so let's head up that direction.
younger. People are used to that level of people. Yeah. Boss, two more times, and it was incredible. Even though it trimmed hard on the mid course on my second time, both rides it absolutely ripped through the second half, and especially that last turn. That last turn, when it flies, I've said this a million times, I'll say it again it just does not slow down when it goes to that last turn in its hauling. And then the double up at the end is insane, especially since I was in the front row both times. Was it better than this morning? I think they're actually about equal, honestly, compared to how it ran earlier. I mean, the trim rides I got this morning were great, and uh, even though it was trimming now on my most recent rides, it felt uh, pretty much identical in the second half, so overall, no complaints. Ryan, Ellis, and the gang, we're gonna go ride River King Mine Train. I personally don't feel the need to ride that because I rode it last time, and I've only done Justice League three times, so let's do that while we're here. Rode Justice League a few more times, and Ryan Ellis and his friends are gonna be riding Batman now. I personally don't feel the need to ride it right this minute, so I'm gonna get some footage of it, and maybe I'll catch him on the ride somehow. So let's head into the queue line for it and get some footage of it. Batman over here. What'd y'all think? It was fast and smooth. Nice. And uh, your name was uh, Kyle, correct? Yeah. Nice. Uh, you like that one? How many times have you written it? Uh, if you don't know, that's fine. I'm just curious. <laughs> At least a hundred plus, maybe in the two hundreds. That are... seems that seems fair enough. Yeah, it seems like both of us have that same count. Yeah, I don't think really I've written it that many times. I, maybe I have. I don't know. I haven't, I haven't kept track of my rides on Batman. Been riding Batman since. And I got some 30 now, so... Oh, dang, yeah, you've been this for like 20 years. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I might ride it later on, but I don't know about that. And uh, just in case I never said it earlier in the vlog, which I don't recall if I have, Ellis, how old are you on the day this is being recorded? I am 31 years old. I just turned 31 today. Nice. So, yeah, 31 years old. I mean, I don't know if I said it. That's a fair. I might as well say it now while well, it's fresh on my mind. But overall, best ride of the day. I know you guys are about to go to the water park, you and uh, Kyle. What was just your favorite ride? ride? I'm really excited. What was your favorite ride today? Oh, uh, my favorite ride today? The Boss. Yeah, Boss is running ridiculously good today. Yeah. I was really impressed. I and, love uh, Mr. Freeze the most, as always. Mr. Freeze, that's a great ride. Yeah. Ryan would agree with you on yeah, that being the best I agree, ride here. Yeah, I agree, yeah. And uh, you guys rode River King Mine Train. How was it, all of you? It went lots of fun. Lots of fun. It was smooth. Not too shaky or fast. Yeah. Like it's that not that smooth. rough, usually. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you guys said you rode the front, which I thought you guys were going to go for the back. So I'm surprised you all rode the front row, or front car. Yeah, we all got the front. There was literally yeah. no line. Dang, that's Mine rare. River King Mine Train usually has a decent line, but yeah. I guess you guys are going into the water park. You actually are going to a main event tonight. Yes, we are. We're going to go to the water park first, and then we're going to crash that main event at 5.30. Nice. So yeah, you guys are going to do that. Uh, Brian and I, we're staying here for another... Both ways to stay here so close. So. Yeah, we are. Yeah, it was uh, overall, it was cool hanging out with you guys for the day. You guys got to play the water park. Let's do a ride yeah. count. Uh, oh my gosh, uh, what is your guys' ride count? Our day isn't done yet. What's yours? Uh, if you don't know it, that's fine. I'm just curious. I, I, I run it this time. Oh, you I did? got three on Screaming Eagle, four on Boss, one on Freeze, 
one on, two on Justice League, one on American Thunder, one on Log Flume, one on Thunder River, one on Mind Train, and one on Batman. Yes, yeah, so you guys got a lot done, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, there it goes. So, uh, yeah, Batman might go on it later, but it looks like it's running quite solid, so we'll definitely check it back out. But, uh, yeah, I guess uh, the vlog must continue, I guess. And, uh... <laughs> Mr. Freeze backseat was way better than my front row ride. More intense and launch was definitely better. Now I'm gonna ride Boss. Jeez Louise, Boss was insane. Super intense ride, really fast, awesome air time. My course wasn't as harsh as it was on my ride before this, but it didn't trim a little bit. But other than that, it was still an excellent ride. Five rides on the same today, it's running phenomenal. Like, I feel like the ride was going uh, into overdrive on that. Like, the way it's going around this last turn right here, just look at this. That is just insane. So uh, yeah, boss, I have no complaints with how I was running today. Between the tremulous rides this morning and the ridiculously fast rides now, I am uh, really amazed. And uh, that was a really solid ride there. Running quite a bit faster this morning. I think it was a little smoother actually as well. That being said, uh, my neck was kind of sore because I was actually looking at Freeze the whole time while on the lift hill to see if they're going to go up to two trains because I know it was delay and then they've been cycling it more consistently as of late. So maybe they went up to two trains, which I'll probably check back down there at some point eventually to see if they had two trains. And uh, Ryan and also my friend Kate, who I ran into like uh, like about a month ago, I actually didn't hang out at the park for a while. I'll post links to that day in the description of this video so you guys can check that out in the vlog from it. But yeah, we all rode an Eagle in the back of the train. It was good. And then uh, they're gonna go ride Catwoman now. And uh, I would be more willing to try Catwoman if it weren't for my horrific experience on Joker at Six Flags Great Adventure, which if you haven't seen the vlog from that, I'll post a link to that in the description of this video so you guys can check that out. Basically what happened, the ride was flipping so much and uh, my head was in the restraint severely like multiple times in a row. And I legitimately thought I was gonna go unconscious from it. It was not a fun experience. And uh, the only time I've ever felt like I was in danger on a coaster was uh, on that, so. Yeah, it was a horrible experience, but I'm gonna go down towards Justice League and start, I guess, preparing for uh, a possible Triple Max so I can join my friend Kate, because she's seen me max it, which I'll post link up to that vlog that I just said. But uh, yeah, I was gonna try and go for a Triple Max with Ryan and I uh, to show her. So yeah, let's uh, head down that way and uh, get a move on. Five minute wait for Justice League. I can work with this. Now, uh, I am a feeling the line's probably gonna get longer too because there's some uh, rain looks like it's coming in. And if it shuts all the rides down, people are going to start flocking to Justice League. So I should get in there as soon as possible. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and get going. I have never done so good in the room with a Joker animatronic before. I started that room with, uh, I think like 824,000 coming out of the first screen. By the time I left the room with a Joker animatronic, I was going to wear that truck dress out at you. I had 881,000. So I scored uh, almost 60,000 in there, which is incredible. Never have done that well in that room before, which is awesome. So yeah, I'm starting the marathon a little early today. So I can uh, get some practice for uh, Ryan and Kate a little bit here. And it's broken. But the experience I had was really quite cool actually because uh, I, well, first of all, I knew something was up halfway to the right because the vehicle wasn't rotating like it usually does. So I'm like, okay, what's going on? And then we get to the area right in front of the results screen, and then we're supposed to head into the unload area. We don't. And sometimes what happens with that situation, one of the ride offs has to go over to an enable panel and then uh, resend the cars back into the loading area, I guess. Like they stop it outside and they set it back in. I don't think that worked for whatever reason. And so all the cars eventually kept uh, stacking and then they turned all the lights on. So technical difficulties, which I kind of expected. Five to seven minutes after they turned the lights on, some maintenance workers come over and they open up some uh, side compartment underneath the car that's like the battery for it, which I have never seen before. It was actually really quite cool. Being a huge fan of that rather than I am, it was really cool to see that. And also I noticed that the scoreboard turned off for a brief moment and then it turned back on and actually displayed the score I got, which was all nine. So 
I never knew that they could reset uh, the score back to what it was originally before they turned it off. Which, that's a really cool gimmick, I guess you'd say. I was uh, really intrigued about that. It was quite neat. And uh, yeah, the ride's down right now. And, uh, Ryan and Kate, uh, I think, are still alive for Catwoman. I might be able to get on Mr. Freeze or something away from to get back here, but I don't know. Yeah, this thing, uh, that was a weird incident right there, but it was still really cool. Just found out that Ryan and Kate are all the way down here, and Kate actually got stuck at the top of uh, Catwoman because someone had a guest illness. So once they get down here, it's showtime. I finished my Justice League Marathon a little early, so I can try and get last night and I on the Boston Pro Row. I'm not sure I'll be able to get it, but for the shots, let's go. If I can't get front, I'm doing second and back. I don't know why I tried to go for last ride of the night on the boss. I got second to back rowing, and uh, that was really, really, really bad. Like, the ops table me so hard, the lap bar was digging into my gut the whole ride, so there was no air time. And you combine that with the constant severe jackhammer that this ride has, it was horrible. Definitely the worst ride of, of the day by a long shot, and uh, very sad end to the day. Despite my last ride on boss being absolute trash, the rest of the day was great. My ride count was 11 on Justice League, six on boss, three on uh, Scraven Eagle, two on Mr. Freeze, and one on Logflow. So I got a decent amount done today, and I was uh, hanging out with uh, Ellis and his buddies for the first part of the day, and then uh, Kate came for a little bit, so I hang out with the rest of us. In terms of uh, awesome highlights, so the first five rides on boss were great, but that last one yeah. is bad. Eagle was running good this morning uh, and this afternoon. Breeze was good, and uh, I got a couple matches on Justice League. 11 to be total. So, overall, it was a pretty solid day. And before you click on this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to write a comment when you enjoy about this video. Be sure to share this video with someone else tomorrow. And be sure to comment down below wishing Elsa a happy 31st birthday. If you're new to this channel, like we saw, please consider subscribing for more content like this. My goal is to 500 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate your subscribing and turn the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit parks. Be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. As for my next vlog, the next vlog will be from Silver Dollar City, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'll see you later.